So connecting your domain into a shared hosting provider is one step for you to start your website. And this video will cover about how you can connect your domain into the SiteGround account. So regardless if it is a new domain or an existing domain, or maybe you purchased a domain from a third party website like namecheap.com or godaddy.com, I'm going to cover that in this video. So basically, if you don't have an, a shared hosting yet, you can check my link below to get started. Or yeah, if you already have an existing SiteGround account and you don't know how you can connect your domain into the SiteGround, then this video still is the right for you. So anyway, I will pretend that you already have a SiteGround account. If you don't have, just use the link below to sign up. And then you need to log into your SiteGround account and go into the website section. So I already log in, by the way, because you can see it in here. And then click on the new website. So on the new website, you will be asked whether you have a new domain, you have an existing domain, or you have a temporary domain. So let's start first with the new domain. In the new domain, basically, you'll be finding a domain from SiteGround. So your domain provider is SiteGround. So let's say my, um, I'm going to put my name here. So like uh, it's $17 per year for this one. But actually one of my favorite, um, actually Namecheap. I like Namecheap because it has a, I'm going to search my name. If I search my name in Namecheap, it's just, let's try how much does it cost us. So in SiteGround, it's $17 or round off, it's $18 per year exclusive tax. But in Namecheap, hey, Namecheap, cooperate. But anyway, yeah. So in Namecheap, it's only $9 retail. And like after after a year, because they, they are providing discount after... Like I normally purchase domain for five years, so I can um, enjoy the discount. But yeah, after five years or, or, or whatever plan you open, it will raise to $13.98. Yeah, I don't normally purchase domain in SiteGround, but if you like, then you can straightly click that ad thing, um, put in your credit card and you should be good to go. But yeah, if you're looking for a cheaper option, you can go into the name shape. But I like SiteGround, by the way. So in this video, I'm going to... So that's how it works for the new um, site, new domain. You just need to like add to court and it will automatically generate for you. So if I click add there, click continue. Well, I'm, I'm not going to purchase it. But yeah, you just need to follow these steps. If it's a new domain, you select that one and then you click continue and the rest goes on, then you will have that domain. But I'm not going to do that. Again, I'm not going to do that. So click a new website. We will choose an existing domain because we already have the domain. And this is our domain. Um, I'm going to put in, in here. And I purchased, we purchased that domain on third party website. It's not in SiteGround. So what you need to do is you, I'm going to skip the, yeah, I can, I can select the create new website and a WordPress. And yeah, I can just put the password. So it's super easy to use, by the way, um, SiteGround, super friendly. Um, well, there's a better version for hosting, which is like AWS, but if you want to be like super friendly, if you're not, you don't like tech stuff, then SiteGround would be a good place for you to start. And by the way, I have a comparison of shared hosting on my website. So check it out if you, um, so you have like a guidance, what fits for your budget, what fits for the performance and stuff. Um, site scanner, I don't want that to be added because it add it, it's an extra $29. Well, I don't need that. 
and then so it will create so it will create a website but if you're using a third party domain you purchase the domain into a third party website you need to change the name server to site round and that name server can be accessed by clicking the website again it's still generating but you can um go into the to the um portal of that domain so go back to the website and this is the name that we created earlier so i'm going to click the site tools because i haven't connected yet so what is being installed in the website will not be reflected into the domain oh here you go by the way so once um the installation is finished they will provide you the domain or dns or name server so you need to copy that into your um into your website name server option i'm going to remove that remove that and then it will update the name server now this sections in here so if i if i search this one into the browser it's still not working because um it takes for i think 24 to 48 hours to propagate the changes that you have made into your name server so just wait for a couple of hours to um, fully update the integration but yeah um that's how you can add your domain into the site round so let's try again So yeah, that's how it works, guys. And if you have any question, um, don't hesitate to message me or you can message the site round support. Go in this part, go into the view all center and then go into the, hold on, um, contact us. And then you like, if you have issue with the domain, click the domain, you select the um, problem that is close to your um, issue. And then you pick the um, domain name and then you can start chatting with them. But what we have did right now is correct. It's just like other, okay. It's just like it takes time for us to propagate the, the name server. So you can't update something else. Just skip something else so you can chat with them. But again, what I did here, if you click the ch chat now, um, you can easily reach out with them and assist you with your problem. But currently, the reason why it's not yet working, it's because we just update the name server. And again, it takes 24 to 48 hours to fully propagate the domain to site round. But normally, just wait, just get back after an hour or two um, to see the changes that you have made. So time check, the website is already live and 4.54 p.m. And then I filmed the tutorial on 3, you can see in here, 3.55 p.m. So yeah, you just need to wait an hour to propagate the domain in a website. Thank you and have a great day.